All right, this activity is called Champions and Challengers, and it's an underhand throwing activity for accuracy. On this side of the gym, we've got hoops and a koosh ball on a spot. This is the challenger side of the gym. We'll have one student at each hoop. Across the gym on this side is the champion side. This is the uh, where the champion will stand, and they will have one person at each hoop. So we have colored lanes. The rest of the players who do not start the game as a champion or as a challenger will start here at the start line, and they'll kind of line up along the wall here. Probably only have two or three students that are going to start um, or be in the line at one time. Now, the object of the game is to be the first player to take the ball and toss it, get it to land inside your opponent's hoop. So the gameplay will continue back and forth until somebody makes it in. Whoever makes it in first wins the game. If the challenger makes it in the champion's hoop, they become the new champion. They'll go down to the champion side. If the champion makes it into the challenger's hoop, they will stay the champion and get to play again. Now, when the ball lands inside uh, your hoop, then you have to do two things. Number one, you have to take the ball and set it back up on the spot. That's gonna be the signal for the next person in line to know that you're finished and they can leave the line and come and take your place. Second thing you're gonna do is you're gonna travel around the gym. You're gonna do one lap around the cones. You see we've got these big large cones in the corners and they'll just go around. Uh, of course the morning bell likes to interrupt my video and around the next one until they get back to the starting line. When they're on that starting line, they're gonna look down the row of spots, and if they see a ball on the spot, they know that they can leave the line, pick up the ball, and they can challenge the champion. And we call this one Champions and Challengers. It just keeps the kids active, keeps them practicing that underhand throw for many repetitions, and uh, gives them a lot of time to run around the gym to get back in the game in order to challenge someone new.